Okay. I hope that you've got Python installed in your Ubuntu virtual machine. Uh, the next thing we want to do is to install uh, a code IDE. Uh, my recommendation, you know, in 2020 uh, is to use Visual Studio Code. So go ahead and Google this. You should see this link. Uh, go ahead and download it. Um, since we're using a Windows, we'll download it for Windows. Uh, wait for the installer. Okay, go ahead and run the installer. I accept. Next, next, uh, why not, right? Okay, now here, be careful at this step. I want you to make sure that you check this thing um, and make sure that you have this as well, add to path, checked. Uh, I'm gonna create a desktop icon as well because why not? All right, go ahead, install. Okay, let's launch Visual Studio Code for the very first time. Okay, uh, so we're not going to bother with this too much. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to try simulate, we're going to simulate creating a Python project. So uh, these are Linux commands. Uh, so I'm going to make a directory called um, tests, right? So this is whatever, uh, we'll just call this like project one. Okay, and then I'll cd into project one. So cd is changing your directory. Okay, uh, so once we're in project one, I'm gonna make some files. So I'm gonna touch, uh, will help you create empty files. So touch um, start.py. Okay. And on top of that, since we are using ASDF, uh, and we want to make sure that this project always would use, you know, maybe Python version 3.9. So rather than ASDF global, we're going to set ASDF local. And we're going to specify the version of Python to be 3.9.0. Okay. So if I do ls, is to list all the files in the directory. I'll see start.py. If I do ls-la, I would also see the different hidden files. So two versions was created by this command right here. And touch start.py was created by this command right here. Now, let's try code dot. OK, uh, so it doesn't work. Um, Let's try opening up a new Ubuntu terminal. Okay. Um, so PWD will show exactly where you are in the terminal right now. Um, we created a project one folder or rather directory. So we'll CD into project one. Okay. And okay. So we'll try to open it in. Visual Studio Code, and it should work. So this would automatically open up uh, Visual Studio Code and this particular directory. So you can see I have my start file as well as my two versions specified to be Python 3.9.0. Uh, Visual Studio Code is gonna ask you if you wanna install recommended extension for Python if you're using it for the first time. Go ahead and install it. You know, it's gonna give you nice syntax highlighting as you write code. Uh, it just makes the whole experience a lot better. And, you know, in my opinion, it does help with reducing some bugs. Okay, uh, once we have Python installed, let's say we're just gonna do something simple. You know, we'll give a variable as three and a variable as four. We're gonna print out what is the result of A plus B. Control S to save and we can run our Python code, uh, just like this. All right, so it print out seven, right? So that's what we expect. Uh, everything is working well. Now, um, there's one other thing that I wanna show you. Okay, so this is not what we want. We want Visual Studio Code to integrate nicely with our Ubuntu environment. Um, let's see how we can do it. Um, VS Code Windows subsystem for Linux. 
Okay, go to Visual Studio Code's documentation page uh, to see how to set it up properly. So we have done this. Um, we have also done this. And we need to install the remote development extension pack. Click install. Oh, nice. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and close Visual Studio Code again, and we'll see. Let's see if it works. Uh, so we'll go back to our terminal. I'll close the old one. This is the new one, and code dot. So I wanna open this directory in VS Code. All right. Okay, so the beauty of doing that is we can now do uh, control squee, okay, to open up terminal. And look, we are running a terminal in within Visual Studio Code. So we can pretty much do Python um, start dot py. All right, perfect. So right now we have a nicely integrated development experience uh, using Visual Studio Code as well as Windows Subsystem for Linux running a Ubuntu 20.04 LTS uh, operating system. Uh, so in my opinion, in 2020, this is the best uh, experience that you're gonna get uh, coding in Python or a lot of the other open source programming languages, especially if you're using a lot of C-based uh, libraries.